Take a look at the following images and observe what is common to them. All of these jobs receive a certain type of commission. If you are into sales, surely you will have this. So if you are interested to learn about commission and its types, continue watching this video. Hello everyone! Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Math Room by Teacher Joanne. In this video, we are going to have a lesson in business mathematics and the topic is all about commission. What are the learning objectives? At the end of the lesson, you should be able to define commission, illustrate the different types of commission, compute commissions on cash basis and commission on installment basis, and solve problems involving commissions. What is commission? Commission is a payment used mainly for salespeople. It is a percentage of the selling price of an item sold or maybe a percent of the value of sales. This is given to provide incentives to the employees for the sales they generated for the company. Also, this considers a form of motivation to them to really work hard to generate a high sales. There are a lot of jobs that provide commission, especially those who are engaged in sales. It is very common to car sales and real estate agents. They receive certain amount of commission based on the amounts of items they have sold to a customer or based on the commission structure set by their companies. There are different types of commission. First, straight commission. Second, salary plus commission. Third, Commission based on quota, and fourth, graduated commission. Let us discuss each one. First is the straight commission. It is paid on every sales transaction. It is where an employee gets his entire pay through commission. Meaning to say, a person doesn't have a fixed salary. All of his earnings will be coming from the commission that he will get. Next is the salary plus commission. This is the most common commission structure. It is where an employee receives a base salary and an additional compensation in the form of commission. This salary plus commission ensures that an employee has a take-home pay and his total gross pay varies according to his or her sales performance. The bigger the sales, the higher the commission will be. And to solve for the commission and total pay, here are the following steps. Step 1. Commission is computed by multiplying the amount sold and the rate of commission. And if there is a salary, for salary plus commission, total gross pay is equal to salary plus commission. What is a total gross pay? It is the salary or hourly pay plus the commission. Let us now have an example. Find the commission. JC is a real estate agent and earns a 3% commission on each home sale. If he sells a home for 2.4 million, how much commission did he receive? Based on this given problem, we have the amount of sales worth 2.4 million, commission rate at 3% or 0 0.03 in decimal, And to solve for commission, we just simply have to multiply these two values. Getting the product of these two, the result is 72,000. JC received a commission of 72,000 in selling a home worth 2.4 million. Second problem, find the total pay. Gianna is paid a weekly salary of 2,800 plus a commission of 4% of the profits made by the company on the products she sells. How much does Gianna earn in a week during which an 85,000 profit was generated by her sales? What are the given values in this problem? First, we have the weekly salary. Next is the amount of sales, which is 85,000. 
Third is the commission rate of 4%. Since this problem is an example of salary plus commission, the first step is to solve for the commission value. Multiplying the amount of sales and the commission rate, the result is 3,400 as the commission value. Next is to find the total weekly gross pay. The total weekly gross pay is given by 2,800 plus 3,400 adding the weekly salary and the commission value, and the result is 6,200. We can now conclude that Gianna earns 6,200 in a week. Third problem, find the commission rate. If a shoe salesman is paid a 250 commission on a sale of 2,500, what is his commission rate? So based on the given problem, we have the commission, which is 250, the amount of sales, which is 2,500, and to solve for the commission rate, we have to follow the formula for commission. Commission is equal to the amount of sales times commission rate. Next is to substitute the given value. So we have 250 equals 2,500 times the commission rate. Let us use rate. To solve for this, we have to divide both sides by 2,500. Cancel the 25 and divide 250 and 2,500. And the answer here is 0. 1. So we can now conclude that the shoe salesman commission rate is 10%. Third type of commission, commission based on quota. Some employees only receive a commission when they reach a certain amount of sales or quota. When we say quota, it refers to the amount of sales or production assignment. Those who receive this type of commission usually earn a salary or an hourly rate in addition to the commission. How do we solve for this? First, commission is equal to the amount sold minus the quota times the rate of commission. And if there is a salary, we have the total gross pay is equal to the salary plus commission. Let us have an example. Find the total pay. Patricia receives a basic monthly salary of 13000 As a sales lady, she must reach 25000 worth of items per month. Aside from the basic salary, she is entitled to a 6.5% commission in excess of the monthly quota. If Patricia sold 44000 worth of items in a month, what is her total earnings for the month? To answer this problem, let us first write down the given values. Here we have the monthly salary of 13,000. Next, we have the quota, which is 25,000. The commission rate of 6.5%. In decimal, 0.065 and the amount of sales of 44,000. Following the given steps, we need to solve first for the commission, which is amount of sales of 44,000 minus the quota value of 25,000 times the rate, which is 0 0.065. We are getting the difference of the amount of sales and quota because the commission is only provided for the excess to the quota. So here we have 19,000 times the rate of commission and this gives us a value of 1,235. So this is the commission value. Next is to find the total gross pay. Here we just have to simply add the monthly salary of 13,000 and the commission value of 1,235 
and this gives us 14,235. Patricia's total earnings is 14,235. Last type of commission is the graduated commission. An employee who is paid a graduated commission is paid an increasing rate of commission as the amount of sales increases. This commission focuses on performance and is intended to provide bigger sales to the company. In graduated commission, the employee is motivated to have a higher revenue or sales in order for the commission to increase. The steps to compute for the commission under a graduated rate plan is given by First step, calculate each level's commission by multiplying each level's sales by the level's commission rate. Second step is to add the products computed in step 1 to determine the total commission. Let us have an example. Find the total commission and total pay. Miko is earning 18000 as his basic salary and was offered a compensation package where he gets 10% commission on the first 30,000 pesos of sales and 12% for sales in excess of 30,000. On his first month, his sales have a total of 45,000 pesos. How much was his total commission and total gross pay? Based on this problem, we have the basic salary of 18,000. The total amount of sales of 45,000. Next, we have the commission rates. First is 10% for 30,000 pesos. And 12% in excess of 30,000. Having this following data, we can now solve for the total commission and total gross pay. First is to compute for commission number 1. The first commission is given by the first rate of 10% for 30,000. So all we need to do is to multiply these two values. 30,000 times 0 0.10 and this gives us a value of 3,000. Next is to commission 2. Here, we need to take out 30,000 from the total amount of sales because the second commission rate is taken from the excess to 30,000. So we have 45,000 minus the 30,000 times the commission rate of 0 0.12. And this gives us a value of 1,800. So having these two commission values, we can now say that the total commission is equal to 4,800 by adding the 3,000 and 1,800. And the total gross pay is 22,800 by adding the basic salary of 18,000 and the total commission of 4,800. Therefore, Migo's total gross pay was 22,800. Now, after discussing the different types of commission, try to reflect on this question. If you were to choose, which among the types of commission do you want to receive and why? Let us now have commission on cash basis and on installment basis. The commission is usually based on the total amount of sale regardless of the mode of payment and this can be provided to the sales agent or employee either on cash basis or on installment basis. So what is the difference of the two? When we say cash basis, the commission is given on cash basis for cash sales. And for installment basis, companies do not give commission based on sales. Rather, the commission is given based on collection of payment made by the customers. Let us have an example. Find the commission. Assume that you, as a salesman, was able to sell an expensive branded bag worth 450000 and is paid on monthly installment basis of 50000 for 9 months. The commission rate given to you is 3%. How much commission do you receive? 
Since the product is paid on installment basis, your commission here is based not on 450000 but rather on 50000 monthly payment made by the buyer. So if your commission is 3%, your monthly commission would be... Getting the product of the 50,000 monthly payment times the commission rate of 3%. And by getting the product, the result is 1,500. So this is the commission that you will receive every month for 9 months. After discussing the different types of commission and how to solve for each, try to answer this problem. Let's check your answer. We have here... Maria earned 6550 a week. This problem is an example of salary plus commission. Try another one. Let's check your work. Here we have an answer of Sonia earned 1700 commission in a week. Looking at this problem, this is an example of graduated commission. Try another one. Let's check your answer. Here we have one's gross pay for the week is 4,700. This is an example of commission based on quota. What are the important things that you need to take note? When we say commission, it is a percentage of the selling price of an item sold or maybe a percent of the value of sales. And there are four types of commission. First is a straight commission. It is where an employee gets his entire pay through commission. Next is the salary plus commission. It is where an employee receives a base salary and a commission. Commission based on quota. It is where an employee only receives a commission when they reach a certain amount of sales or quota. And graduated commission. An employee is paid an increasing rate of commission as the amount of sales increases. Kindly take note of this. According to Dave Warawa, Sales success is not about convincing people to buy a product or service they don't want. It is about engaging with people who are interested and then helping them make the right decision. That is the key to repeat business and referrals. Here is the end of our discussion. I hope you have learned something about commission. Please don't forget to like and comment on this video. Bye everyone. See you on our next video.